Hi, my name is Tony Pena. I am a location style mixer working out of Los Angeles. And I have gotten the same question from a few different clients lately. And that is how to convert audio timecode into metadata timecode. So I took some footage today. And as you can see here, I have three different files an audio file with data timecode, a DSLR video file with audio timecode, and an iPhone video file with data timecode. So we're going to look at this and we're going to try to get this audio timecode converted into data timecode. So let's open this up. I have Tentacle Timecode Tool. This is one way of doing it. So I use Tentacle Syncs and this will identify the type of timecode and allow you to convert it into a different type of time code. So let's drag and drop this in here. And as you can see here, it shows audio time code, but it shows no file time code or data time code. Cool. So the way to convert this is you select this guy, file, media export. We're going to put it into a good place. Um, I'm going to put it in the same folder where I have everything else. I have a specific folder for this and select folder. And I'm not gonna go through any of these options here. And, but you do wanna make sure that you have this box checked, mute audio timecode. This will get rid of that nasty timecode sound that you get from audio timecode. So let's export this. Technical did the job. And we're gonna just look at what it did here. So it actually made a new video file for us. Awesome. Let's jump into Premiere Pro and see how this works. So I already brought in the two data timecode files. I'm going to bring in this new guy that now should have data timecode. Let's bring it in here. All right. Now with all the files in here, I'm going to select them all. Right click, create multi-camera source sequence. Let's do that. And then we're going to check timecode here. Everything else can stay the same for now. And let's go for it. It made a new timeline here. Let's open that guy up in the source, in the timeline. And as you can see, everything's synced up now. It, it is where it should be. So let's actually check to see if this is all linked correctly. So I'm gonna get rid of the video audio. Right click, unlink. Let's delete these guys here. And then I'm gonna boost up the gain of all the audio here because it's kind of low. Let's go by 12 decibels, perfect. Let's mute these redundant tracks that I have. And let's do some quick cuts so that we can see it go back and forth and make sure it's all synced. So cut here, cut here, cut here, and one more cut. All right, let's get rid of some of this. And that should be good enough for us to tell. Let's start here. Toadeth Baron, a VW no more than a bubble hashish fumes. Captained by a co college student and a family from Marshalltown who head on and killed forever a man driving west out of Bethany, Missouri. I rose up sopping wet from sleeping under the pouring rain and something less than conscious. Thanks to the first three people, three first three of the people. All right, it looks like it worked out. That's my little brother, by the way. Big thank you to him for agreeing to do this and reading something really weird. Let's uh, continue. So there is an easier way to do this with DaVinci Resolve. I already have it open here and I have my raw data imported. This process actually eliminates the technical technical tool. So instead of putting it in there, what you do is just find your, your video file with audio timecode, right click it, and update timecode from audio track. This generates a metadata timecode from that audio timecode time track. So let's uh, grab this video, bring it in here, because it already has the timecode from the audio track as metadata. Let's bring in the video from here. Cool. Let's bring in our audio. Now I'm going to mute my redundant tracks. I'm going to boost the, the levels of this a little bit. And then 
the way you sync all this, because right now it's not synced, you're going to select it all, right click, and auto line clips based on time code. Now it should all be aligned correctly. So let's uh, cut it up like we did in Premiere Pro and see if it worked. All right, so let's cut some of these guys out. One more here. All right, I'm gonna play it from here. Let's check it out. And steered while sleeping, a Cherokee filled with bourbon, a VW no more than a bubble hashish fumes, captained by a co college student and a family from Marshalltown who head on and killed forever a man driving west out of Bethany, Missouri. I rose up sopping wet from sleeping under the pouring rain and something less than conscious. Thanks to the- So, looks like it worked. A big thank you to my brother for helping me out, helping me out with this. And if you guys have any more questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. And if this helped you out, let me know. Hopefully I get some more questions from clients and I can make another video. Have a good one.